channel. I honestly, I uh, didn't think I was going to try to vlog today. I was just gonna figure out like another video to do, but um, I think I will. So we got hit with some sort of stomach bug or food poisoning or something in our house. And it hit Ivy first on Friday night. She like woke up at midnight. And um, she woke up to go to the bathroom first. And then I think at three, she came back in um, after having thrown up. And so then a few hours later, Zach got it. And so far he's gotten hit the hardest. And um, I had like a sore stomach all day yesterday. I like this part, yeah. And I was like, oh, it's going to happen anytime now. It's going to happen. And I, ugh. And it didn't for me yet. So, um, but last night I slept out here on the air mattress to give Zach some space and to make so I was like more easily accessible to the girls if anything happened or Milo. And, um, yeah, Penelope got it last night. So I made her a bed out of couch cushions in the bathroom, in our bathroom. And um, that's where she has been sleeping since midnight. And Zach has been in there with her because he let me sleep. After he changed our sheets and stuff last night. So it's uh, it has been a thing. It's like This is like the only time I'm like, oh, I hate having so many kids. Because it's like, it goes through like wildfire. So. I really hate you. Who knows? I've done so much cleaning. I've washed so many clothes, so many bed linens, and I've still got so much to do, but. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, that's our day so far. Um, I had a coffee this morning. My hammy doll. And a granola bar. And Ivy, she's feeling like totally better. She had a bowl of dino oatmeal, and so did Milo. And Zach had a little bit of oatmeal too. So Penelope's the only one who, she hasn't eaten anything. It's just been like a few a crackers six. and that's it. So we'll see what else this day brings. But this is going to be like yeah. same day stuff. So same day turnaround, very like raw and unedited type stuff. You better not. But. Not getting sunflower seeds, bud. No. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas Day 6 and I said, or I told myself yesterday like when it seemed like we were in the clear that I was going to go ahead and vlog, but I didn't. So um, I'm going to combine these two days and you guys are just going to, just going to like it. <laughs> um, but anyway, please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and this is really just going to be a day of cleaning, relaxing, because if you didn't watch my last video, um, or saw, I think I put up a post about it too, on the YouTube community tab, um, our family got hit with some sort of stomach bug, and I was the last remaining survivor, and I still didn't I still didn't get hit with it fully, but it's like my stomach is still really sore and all that. 
But yeah, so it's lots of just cleaning and all the kids are home. I kept Penelope home from school today. You, did you call her an Evie picture? Yes. I love it. That looks really good. Which one's your favorite? This one, Jolteon. Jol Jolteon? Yes. Nice. But, uh, okay. I'm gonna go get my little dress and do more laundry. And this is one of my favorite. These are two of my favorite. Pictures. I need to turn it loud up. So for lunch today, I think I'm just going to have some of these Brazil bites. We got it from like Sam's Club or Costco. It's just some um, Brazilian cheese bread. And you just, I put it on our pizza stone. And then we just bake it at 400 uh, for 20 minutes. So once again, I spent the whole day not vlogging. Um, I was cleaning so much today and I did so much laundry. I just like, I was up to my neck in laundry and like bedding and everything and pillows. And I'm finally putting like the last load in the dryer. I've just, it's just been insanity all day. And honestly, I can't imagine who would want to watch somebody just do laundry all day. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just, we really didn't do anything. Um, but I think Zach's gonna wrap some presents tonight and I need to like finish filming something so I can do a rough edit real quick and upload this. That way it'll still count as it being day six. So I won't have missed Vlogmas days five, six, wait, five, six, and wait, yeah. I won't have missed five and six and then do seven, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know what to talk about. I'll go to a different setting. This is the girl's room. It's still kind of, you know, like recovering from this weekend, but I got to get the kids out of the bath soon. That's what they're doing right now is they're taking a bath since they're all feeling better and then they're gonna get dressed we're gonna read to them I'm actually gonna read we got this to read to mainly Penelope because I know Ivy probably won't pay attention but it's JK Rowling's The Christmas Pig and so far I mean we I've only read the first page to them but I don't hate it I mean we I love JK Rowling I'm a huge huge Harry Potter nerd if you don't know that about me say what you will about it um I'm just like a huge Harry Potter fan. I have Harry Potter tattoos and everything, like, love it. Um, but yeah, so when I saw that she had written a Christmas book, I was like, oh, yep, I have to get it and Penelope and I can read it together. So I'm gonna start reading that tonight because I wanted to start reading it this weekend, but of course, we know how that went. Um, nobody was in the mood for reading, but um, yeah. Oh, there's some drama. I have family drama to tell you guys, but I'm sure Zach will be like, don't tell them that. But I don't mean, it's like, it's insanity, right? So when I went to visit my mom in Kentucky, all my family is from Huntington, West Virginia. And we went to Huntington for a day. And I just wanted to show Zach and the kids around and make it like a really quick trip. Like I wanted to take the kids to Ritter Park, which was my favorite park to take Penelope and Messer to when we lived there when Zach was deployed in 2017. And 
I wanted to have some West Virginia hot dogs and just like spend the time with my family before Zach leaves for a year. Well, my aunt found out that we went to Huntington without telling her and she got so upset that she blocked me, my sister, and my mom on all social medias. She unfriended us, blocked us, um, and she blocked our phone numbers because I tried texting her to be like, hey, it was all my fault. You know, please don't put the blame on my mom and my sister. My mom really needs you. That's your younger sister. And when I went to send it because I know she has an iPhone because I keep in contact with her pretty regularly. I noticed that it didn't say delivered or read, which means she blocked my number. So I took to sending her a message, that same message to my cousin, her only son on Facebook. And um, guys, Milo. Milo. And I was like, hey, I just need you to pass this on to your mom. And he did and she like, unblocked me for a day, but made sure that we weren't friends anymore on Facebook to tell me not to reply and that she was disowning us because I didn't tell her that we were going to Huntington. To, and um, it was really hard because like all my other aunts and uncles kind of like dipped out. So I don't really have any aunts or uncles besides this aunt. She was like the only one that stuck around. And so now she's like completely just taking herself out of our lives. And I introduced and like she finally got good time with all of my kids last or this past February when I went to Kentucky to visit. And I have pictures and like Penelope knows and adores her because she was an artist and Penelope's very into art. And so it was just like, it was such a huge slap in the face. And then just to put like the cherry on top, she told me that she was super upset that I named our middle child Ivy after my Aunt Shirley. And I was really confused and I was like, what does she mean? And my mom said that my Aunt Shirley's middle name is May and Ivy's middle name is Rose May. And so it, my aunt was like, don't reply to this message. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna respect that. But I am gonna clear something. I was like, I didn't name Ivy after Aunt Shirley. I didn't even know that was Aunt Shirley's middle name. I was like, I named Ivy after a children's book that I was obsessed with reading when I was, when Penelope was really little, cause we checked it out from the library. And then I bought it and we read it like every day while I was pregnant with Ivy. And the main character's name is Lily Rose May. And I couldn't use the name Lily because that's the name of my parents' Boston Terrier right now is Lily. <laughs> so I love the name Ivy. So it was originally gonna be Ivy Lowen. And then I was like, no, I love this character in this book. I'm gonna name Ivy after her. So that's why Ivy's name is Ivy Rose May. But yeah, isn't that insane? Like, you're supposed to be family and it's just, I don't know, it just proves like everybody's petty. It's just like the most petty thing in the world to me. But my mom said she's done it before, but she's never involved my sister and I, and I told Madison, I was like, if you ever get that way with like Ma Madison, my sister, I was like, if you ever get mad at me, I was like, be mad at me, but like stay supportive of the kids. I was like, because they need to know that you're like that impartial person that will be there for them regardless you're their aunt. So yeah, but I'm gonna show you guys the book. So here's the book. This is actually a British book by the author Carol Hart and it's illustrated by Sarah Warburton, but it's amazing. Let's see, there's her name, it's Lily Rose May. And then I didn't want it to be like, so I didn't hyphenate these two. And I named, I did the May as M-A-E because I prefer that spelling. But yeah, so it's a gorgeous book. You have to, like she did a whole bunch of them. She did like, this is the Christmas one that she did, which is just equally as cute, but. But all right, time to get the kids out. Unwrap the unexpected with the real real. Shop over 10,000 new arrivals daily, get 20% off at the real real. Terms apply. <laughs>